Cancer cells are addicted to glutamine and glucose. Numerous studies have documented that cancer cells rely on glutamine and glucose to fuel proliferation and progression. As we gain a better understanding into cancer's over-reliance on these fuel sources, momentum is building to use metabolic therapies to target cancer. Leading that charge is Dr. Thomas Seafried of Boston College. Dr. Thomas Seafried emphasizes that practically all cancer cells use fermentation to produce energy and that starving cancer cells of glutamine and glucose is critical to destroying the disease. If every cancer cell is getting energy without oxygen, what, where are they getting their ability to grow? What other sources? And I say fermentation. Okay, what's driving the fermentation? Glucose, which has always been known to do that. But the new thing now is that glutamine can drive a fermentation metabolism. And that's our big discovery. Um, mm -hmm. We have two fuels, the glucose and the glutamine, both synergistic with each other. It's unbelievable. The two pathways that drive these two fuels are powerfully interactive. And that allows this cancer cell to grow very robustly uh, as long as it has the availability of glucose and glutamine. So without glucose and glutamine, the tumor cell can't grow. It dies. But how can people inhibit cancer cells from accessing glutamine and glucose? Let's look at glucose first. Dr. Thomas Seafried and others point to evidence that using a ketogenic diet can help people fighting cancer. Keto diets substantially reduce the consumption of foods high in carbohydrates. This can effectively reduce the amount of glucose in the bloodstream that would be available for cancer cells to use. Now, when it comes to blocking glutamine, Dr. Thomas Seafried recommends using a drug called Don, which is 6-diazo-5-oxo-L-norleucine. Unfortunately, this drug is still considered experimental, which means that licensed medical providers are reluctant to prescribe Don outside of a clinical trial. We hope Dr. Thomas Seafried is able to organize the clinical trials he is working towards to test his protocol. For now, the only safe and easily accessible options that have evidence of disrupting cancer cells access to glutamine are food and supplements. The world's library of medical articles is the largest source of information we have that identifies nutrients and food that can help fight cancer. The problem is these medical journals are usually geared towards readers who have a deep education in biology. Nutrilive helps to bridge this gap. Nutrilive is the anti-cancer nutrition app that helps you quickly find food and supplements that have demonstrated the ability to inhibit cancer cells from accessing glutamine and glucose kill cancer cells, and boost the immune system. Here's how it works. Using Nutrilive, it's easy to search the library of foods, supplements, and natural extracts that are known to inhibit cancer cells from accessing glutamine and glucose. The item profiles in the app clearly break down how each item is known to kill cancer cells. Scrolling down, you can view if the item is known to starve cancer cells of glutamine and glucose, how it may improve standard treatments, and you can read detailed evidence of how the item blocks cancer from glutamine and glucose. Logging consumption of the item will add the NutriPoints value to your daily total, enabling you to track your anti-cancer nutrition progress, including the number of glutamine and glucose blocking items consumed. Every time you eat, is an opportunity to hit the disease with nutrition that is known to have anti-cancer capabilities. Nutrilive can help you use the latest evidence to win the battle. Open the video description to find links to sign up for the app today, as well as access studies referenced in this video. We hope you live long and live well.